So while you're watching this bit, I want to make a little announcement. Well, it's not little actually, it's quite huge for me. Very huge, in fact. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Toon Fish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. When I saw this mould on Amazon, I was besotted. I couldn't wait to get my hands on it and I really, really hope you enjoy watching this because it was so much fun to make. Phone stands. If you've ever seen phone stands moulds before, they can be two part looking plastic quite cheap looking and I thought this one was so different it's a phone and tablet stand yeah let's have a look how I got on with it so yes this mold is amazing but to start with I'm showing you the little penguins that I bought from Amazon everything I buy will be linked in the description box below and being old, I do forget things sometimes, so if I miss any links, please let me know. Look at these little guys. They are so, so, so sweet, in my opinion. They are adorable. And this is the mould that I was talking about. It's not a pyramid. It has a point that is not centred, so that if anything leans up against the point, depending on which side you use, is how far it leans back. And that, to me, in itself, is just perfect. Because it's a pyramid, you can put things in it. And this little penguin is the one I'm going to be putting in this piece. So the plan is to hot glue her little feeties to the lolly stick. And then I can suspend her above the point of the pyramid. Not that it's a pyramid, but you know what I mean. And she should stay there while I fill it up, almost to the top with resin. I can't express how excited I am at this point when I'm making this. I just fell in love with these little penguins. And since then, I've purchased a few other pieces that I know are solid plastic. And I'm looking forward to putting them in resin too. So watch out for those. But how sweet is this little thing? It's just adorable. So my way of thinking was that the penguin is going to be the focal point, but I need some more. I need something else to give it some shimmer, some life. So ultra fine rainbow shimmer from Yvonne at Resin Supplies then was what I decided to use as an extra shimmer. And I'm going to be using Jade Diction Crystal Clear Epoxy Resin for this as it's quite deep and I know this resin does pour really deep without any issues at all. It's quite a thick viscosity resin but it's got a gorgeous kind of bluey tint to it so that it's, it makes it really crystal clear. Now this glitter is super fine and is really lightweight so it won't sink, it will dissipate throughout the resin. And I'm trying to show you, I've just put a tiny bit in there and I just wanted it to flicker throughout the resin without filling in or just a little hint of glitter in the entire piece of resin. Hopefully that will make it look cold or icy. Anyway, I'm pouring a little bit into the tip and making sure I've got no bubbles in the actual top. And I've decided that I'm going to cover the penguin in resin before I put him in so that it will hopefully stop any bubbles forming on the outside of the penguin. Because when something is dry, it will hold air. And when something's wet, it doesn't. I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you cover something in the resin first, it won't grip onto the air when you push it down into the resin. Now I will be putting this into my pressure pot because I have a pressure pot to put it into. I completely get that other people don't. So this method will hopefully stop most of the bubbles that could form if you don't have a pressure pot. And what's a few bubbles between friends anyway? This should stop most of it. So I'm putting her in the right place where I want her nose pointing at a particular area and I'm filling it up to just below the top. I don't want it to the top. So the aim is to make it look as if it's frozen in resin. So 
So 24 hours later and I found a bag of polystyrene balls. Now these are like Christmas snowballs and I'm going to fill up the recess area, the little area that didn't have any resin around her feet with polystyrene balls. Now some of these are too large for the area so I'm picking out the ones that are the right size. Basically a silicone tool that's wet will pick up a polystyrene ball so I don't have to use tweezers on my fingers. This did take quite a long time and I made sure I covered every polystyrene ball in resin to completely cover it and I want the whole area covered. Now I'm not sure about the chemical reaction with polystyrene balls. I have put them in resin before but I did wear a mask throughout this entire process just in case. Once I'm happy with all the polystyrene balls, I'm then going to fill up all four pyramids. The tiny ones that are the stand part for the phones and the tablets. I don't want any bubbles in here so I'm filling them very slowly and I'm going to use a micro brush to get rid of the bubbles from the points. So while you're watching this bit, I want to make a little announcement. Well it's not little actually, it's quite huge for me. Very huge in fact. I now have a website, a website called toonpish.com. It's a work in progress, it has a shop, it has all my links to all the affiliates and the discount codes on it. So yeah, go check it out, toonpish.com. That's very exciting for me. So after 24 hours, we're on the last layer and I'm gonna use some silver white that come in a box set from Amazon. Again, I will link everything in the description below. And I'm also going to use the same ultra fine rainbow shimmer from Yvonne at Resin Supplies Dan, which is a small Facebook group and I will put the link in the description below. If you're in the UK, go check them out. They sell everything to do with resin. So I'm completely covering the base with clear resin and I'm making sure that I've just got enough to cover the bottom, just enough. Then I'm going to add these silver plastic leaves. Now, I bought these years ago. I can't even remember where I bought them from. I bought them to go into Christmas items and I thought they would be absolutely great to be kind of snowed under the leaves. It's the middle of summer here. It's absolutely boiling. It's 30 odd degrees every day and I am really fed up with it. And I think I'm making this because I want it to be winter. I so am longing for the cold nights. I love the cold, I really do. I'm very happy in the cold. Anyway, getting back to this, I've put all the leaves in the bottom. I'm now using some of the silver white and just flicking it all over the top. I want it to do its thing. I want the leaves to be half under and half out so you can see them, but you can't. When you get up on a frosty morning and everything's covered in white, I love that. Oh, I'm longing for the winter. And I squirted it with isopropyl alcohol as I always do. And doesn't it dance? Look at that dancing. I love the way it works. Resin is fascinating, isn't it? So 24 hours later and it's time to demold. Now I've never done this before, I'm slightly out of camera and I do apologise for that. Each little point has to be taken out before you can take the main piece out. And then it just popped out. So the base of the resin was quite bumpy, which was fine. But I wanted to make a nice smooth surface so that if you put it on any surface it wouldn't scratch or mark. So I got some white sticky back felt, I cut it to the shape that I wanted and I placed it on the bottom. This is quite thick felt, it's quite stiff. I'm cutting it obviously because it was a square, it was a simple. Just drew around it and cut it. I did have to trim up one of the edges slightly but as I said this is quite thick, it's stiff felt. And because I chose white, it will help keep the bottom in the right color frame. 
I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers and if you haven't subscribed already consider doing so it doesn't cost anything and it does help my channel out and a comment is really appreciated and so is a thumbs up it helps tell YouTube that you like my content and that helps me to create more so the last thing with this is does it actually work well I think it works beautifully it holds the phone in whatever direction you want or whatever angle you want pretty much and although I don't have a tablet to try it I did have a book now the book isn't very stable but it definitely shows it works wow I love it I absolutely love this mold it is one of the most exciting amazing molds I've come across in a long time probably since dragon eggs actually and that was huge for me <laughs> because I love dragon eggs anyway just think what you could put in this little pyramid on top of this mold I mean it's endless it's this this little penguin I mean they were brilliant they're solid plastic so there's no air in them that could come out in your resin if you can get hold of little solid plastic pieces put them in your resin oh my god they just oh i'm in awe i love it <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed this one <laughs> come back and see me next week because you never know what i'm going to be up to i never know what i'm going to be up to have a great week happy crafting and bye for now